Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane is rumored to be selling her designer wardrobe on a fashion app amid her divorce and legal woes. Amid Erica Jane's divorce and embezzlement claims, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star has rumored to be selling some of her designer clothes online. The reality and pop star was spotted promoting some of her previously worn threads on a fashion app where users can purchase them. Erica has had a rough end to the year after announcing her divorce from Tom Duarte last month. The couple had been married since 1999 and had no children together or prenup when their split was revealed. Shortly after the filing, Erica sent out a spousal support request from her estranged husband. However, he recently fired back with a support request of his own while also denying hers. The former couple has been at the center of legal drama aside from their divorce. Tom most recently was slapped with two lawsuits with Erica being included in one. The two are accused of embezzling funds awarded to the family members of plane crash victims. They allegedly kept the money for themselves to fund their lavish lifestyle. Additionally, Tom was hit with a second lawsuit for bank fraud from Wells Fargo. To make matters worse, his assets have been frozen as a result. So, if Erica was hoping for spousal support, it's clear what the turnout on that will be. With all of her money and legal woes falling down on her at once, the ex spin dollar Ive Singer has reportedly decided to sell some of her pricey designer pieces for extra cash. After the Bravo star announced that she was selling luxury pieces from her wardrobe on the app Vestiaire Collective, the Blast captured screenshots of her new hustle. Her account shows her offering about 40 different designer pieces at a discounted rate. Most of the clothes Erica has worn during filming or on the red carpet. Among the collection of worn items being sold include a Gucci cashmere jacket for $900 and trousers for $600, a Baleniaga wool jumper for $450, and a $4,000 Zuhair Mirad silk jumpsuit. The Fenty X Savage model added the non singed slash unsigned maxi dress that she can be seen wearing in the show's opening. She's selling that for $1,600, but says it's worth $2,000. Among the high-end pieces, she's reselling items from designers including Moschino versus Alexander McQueen, Channel, Rick Owens, Balmain, Stella McCartney, and Dulce and Cabana. The embezzlement lawsuit launched against her and Tom accuses them of using the stolen funds to pay out on her signature glam squad and luxury lifestyle. The suit also claims the couple is faking their divorce in an effort to get off the hook for all the money they owe. At the time she announced her divorce, reports surfaced that the couple had an unconventional marriage and had been living apart from each other for some time. There were also cheating claims against both parties. Most recently, Housewife Lisa Rinna teased that all the drama surrounding Erica at the moment will be included in season 11. Fans are anxiously waiting to watch how the next season plays out. Needless to say, it will be interesting to see how Erica and Tom's relationship unravels amid their legal woes. Erica's ex Tom Duarte allegedly has serious illness amid lawsuits. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Amid his two lawsuits for fraud, Tom Garwardi, the ex-husband of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane, has allegedly fallen ill. Amid news of his two ongoing lawsuits over bank fraud and embezzlement, it's being reported that Thomas Girardi is allegedly battling a serious illness. Rumors around his health have surfaced as he deals with an onslaught of legal woes, including a recent divorce filing from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane. Tom's alleged shady business practices have finally caught up with him, as the powerhouse attorney deals with the brunt of two pending lawsuits and a high-profile divorce. Just last month, Erica filed for divorce following 21 years of marriage. The two married in 1999 after meeting during Erica's days working as a cocktail waitress. Many people questioned the solidity of their marriage due to them having no children and a 30-year age gap. 
Following her divorce filing, the Bravo star moved swiftly in requesting spousal support from her estranged ex. However, he responded by denying the request and demanding his own support from the singer and reality star. Amid the former couple's divorce drama, Tom was also targeted in two lawsuits over alleged embezzlement against airplane crash victims, as well as bank fraud allegations from Wells Fargo. At the age of 81, dealing with so many serious problems at once can have a poor impact on one's health. That's allegedly the case for Tom, who is rumored to be suffering from a serious illness. Keith Griffin, an attorney at Girardi's firm, appeared in court on Monday, December 14, and claimed the CEO was unavailable in recent weeks due to a serious illness that caused him to be hospitalized for which he sought treatment, stated court documents obtained by Us Weekly. As a result of his fraud claims, the longtime attorney's assets were frozen. His embezzlement lawsuit accuses him of hoarding at least $2 million in client funds that were due to the families of those killed in the crash of a Boeing jet in Indonesia in 2018. However, according to Griffin, he could not elaborate on why such an amount was still owed to certain clients or what the status of the remaining settlement proceeds was because Girardi is the sole equity owner of his firm Girardi Kess with sole and exclusive control over the firm's bank accounts, including its client trust accounts. With Tom Beam on the hook for millions of dollars, his legal team claims he couched everything related to the embezzlement case back in July due to his illness. It's said the mystery illness caused him to step away from his firm for several weeks. Griffin also credited Tom's hospitalization as the reason he made the mistake of not making sure some of the families received the payout. But things are only starting to look more sketchy for the famed lawyer, who earned his powerhouse crown as one of the lawyers who inspired the 2000 Julia Roberts film Aaron Brokovich. The embezzlement lawsuit also targets Erica Jane as being part of the embezzlement scam. Additionally, reports surfaced around how unconventional Erica and Tom's marriage was. There have been cheating claims launched against both of them, in addition to reports, they had been living separately for some time prior to announcing their split. Erica's ex Tom Girardi's assets are frozen after court hearing. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After a court hearing on Monday, Tom Girardi, the ex-husband of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills' Erica Jane, had his assets frozen. Star of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills' Erica Jane's soon-to-be ex-husband, Tom Girardi's assets were frozen after a court hearing that took place on Monday. The 81-year-old retained Chicago-based criminal defense attorney, Michael Monaco, for the hearing. Tom Girardi was ordered by the judge to appear in court on Monday for embezzlement charges. A lawsuit has accused him of stealing settlement money from the victims of a Boeing plane crash. Adelson PC sued the couple on behalf of several Boeing plane crash victims and alleged they redirected settlement funds that were meant to go towards the victims of Lion Air Flight 610. A local news station, KTLA, reported that the famed lawyer's assets have been frozen after he misappropriated $2 million in funds due to crash victims' families. U.S. District Judge Thomas M. Durkin called Girardi's behavior unconscionable and said he referred him to the U.S. Attorney's Office for criminal investigation. Girardi made his appearance by phone, but did not say much other than acknowledging he was on the line. It looks like Girardi got a good verbal thrashing from the judge, who went on to say, No matter what your personal financial situation is, no matter what kind of pressures you are under, if you touch client money, you are going to be disbarred and quite possibly charged criminally. Judge Durkin went on to call it Ethics 101. The judge went on to scold the prominent attorney saying, You learned that in law school and someone as experienced as Mr. Girardi knows that as well as anyone. During the hearing, Girardi's representation said he did not have the two million odd and revealed that his firm, Girardi Keys, had only $15,000 in operating accounts. The firm was also unable to meet its payroll due to obligations and debt. Girardi was one of the nation's foremost civil lawyers and helped to inspire the film Aaron Brockovich. 
In recent years, he has taken a backseat to his wife's fame, thanks to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and her music career. Erica Jane filed for divorce only last month after 20 years of marriage. She, too, is embroiled in the embezzlement scandal, but it's unclear how things will work out for the Bravo star now that she's separating from her lawyer husband. Tom Girardi shuts down Erica Jane's spousal support request. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane sought spousal support from Tom Girardi, but he has reportedly denied her request. After Erica Jane's initial request for spousal support, it's now being reported that her soon-to-be ex-husband, Tom Girardi, has responded to the filing. The powerhouse attorney is denying the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star's attempt to receive any of his financial earnings. Fans were surprised last month when Erica released a statement announcing her divorce from Tom. She and the 81-year-old lawyer enjoyed 21 years of marriage before deciding to call it quits. The singer and reality star married Tom in 1999 after meeting him as a cocktail waitress and giving him her number. On the show, Erica expressed her frustration with people who labeled her a gold digger. But following reports of their breakup, cheating rumors surrounding both Erica and Tom began to surface. While no exact reason for their split has been revealed, Erica posted cryptic messages on social media that left fans feeling the couple were not having an amicable split. Despite having no children or prenup, the Bravo star still made her request for spousal support shortly after their divorce was announced. Tom has now fired back and is working hard to shut down Erica's support request. In documents filed in Los Angeles Superior Court on November 25 and obtained by Us Weekly, Tom is seeking to terminate the court's ability to award Erica spousal support, in addition to getting the Bravo star to pay his attorney's fees. When Erica filed her initial request for support on November 2, she asked the judge to block Tom from requesting spousal support from her. Long before a divorce was launched, Erica spoke openly about how hard it would be for her to get a prenup with her powerhouse attorney husband. His career in the legal profession means he's extremely educated on the ways he can block a spouse from getting their hands on his money. Following her request for support, Erica posted about being undefeated on Instagram. Many fans felt the caption was a response to her filing and an attempt to speak her possible legal victory against her ex into existence. Meanwhile, filming for season 11 of RHOBH has been put on pause due to positive COVID-19 cases among the cast and crew. Kyle Richards, Dorit Kimsley, and Kathy Hilton have all tested positive, along with members of the crew. Erica is a returning housewife this season, along with Farcel Bava, Lisa Rinna, and newcomer Crystal Kung Minkoff. Tom Gerardi the husband of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Girardi just had two of his legal accolades stripped away. Tom Girardi continues to suffer crushing blows to his legal career as a result of his shady business practices. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills husband recently had two of his legal awards removed from the CAA LA Hall of Fame for his failure to uphold the morals, ethics, and standards of the association. This comes as Girardi faces charges of embezzlement and bank fraud. Erica Girardi's bankrupt ex-husband has had one of the most publicized falls from grace after gaining notoriety in the early 2000s as one of the lawyers who inspired the Julia Roberts film Erin Brokovich. In the last year since filming for season 10 wrapped, Erica filed for divorce shortly before her husband was thrown into the lion's den over accusations Girardi kept the millions of dollars that were supposed to be given to the family members of victims who died in an airplane crash. To make matters worse, banks like Wells Fargo and others have accused Girardi of fraud and falsifying company information to obtain money. On top of that, Girardi's once notable law firm has gone to dust with members of his own family turning on him and testifying against him in court. Most recently, Girardi was diagnosed with Alzheimer's amid his ongoing legal fight. Now the ailing attorney can add another blow to his long list of setbacks after the Consumer Attorneys Association of Los Angeles ousted him from their organization. 
Reality Blurb Reports. Jenny Harrison, the president of CAALA, released a statement confirming that Girardi's untrustworthy behavior as an attorney was inconsistent with the morals, ethics, and standards of CAALA, and the organization took necessary steps to end his membership before they learned that Girardi had already resigned. We are appalled by the victimization of clients to whom a fiduciary duty is owed, and our sympathies extend to those lawyers and vendors whose trust was violated, the statement read. Harrison's statement revealed how Girardi's termination was done just last week. On March 18, CAALA's Board of Governors, BOG, voted overwhelmingly to revoke the awards previously given to Mr. Girardi by the organization, the 1995 Trial Lawyer of the Year, and the 2004 Ted Horn Awards, and to remove him from CAALA's Hall of Fame, the statement continued. His stripped awards come after he was forced into involuntary bankruptcy after having his assets frozen. His brother became his conservator as Girardi attempts to persuade the courts he's mentally unstable. CAALA condemns Mr. Girardi's actions as violations of the fundamental duties that attorneys owe to their clients and to the profession. The statement continued. With Girardi being accused of a number of illegal business practices, the CAALA declared that they will not condone or tolerate such assaults on these ideals and will not continue to bestow honor upon a member it learns violated the very principles the organization fights to protect. Fans are wondering how this all will play out on the next season of RHQBH. Erica sure has a lot of explaining to do.